डॉक्टर मनीष डॉक्टर इना एंड अदर फ्रेंड्स the ipr workshops which are being organized by gtu are very important for all of us they are also important for our students and for our industry partners let me talk about what these workshops are for we want that our students whether of masters or bachelors when they are working on their projects they should protect their ipr there is a little bit of doubt in the minds of particularly engineering students that a small new product that they design probably might not be worth a patent let me give you an example you must have heard of mr sam pitroda he filed his first patent on the idea of an electronic diary now these electronic diaries were very popular about 15 years back uh, these days they have become a little less popular so maybe you have not seen them but there was a time when everyone was carrying an electronic diary so that he would be able to store the addresses and other things of Uh, his friends and uh, other known people what mr sam peter that it was he thought of this idea a uh, long time back i think about 25 years back he wrote down on a piece of paper the way it should be designed how it should be done and then took a patent after many years when many companies started manufacturing these products they had to all pay a royalty to sam petroda and the result was that he became a rich man so many times the ideas that you have developed may look to be simple but then they may be useful to the society and therefore there is no harm in ensuring that these ideas and your authorship of these ideas is protected however the authorship of these ideas can be protected only if you do proper documentation for example when you are doing the project when you are working on the project all through two semesters you must do proper documentation to show what you have done in a particular month what you have done in a particular semester and so on now this documentation may prove to be very valuable in many cases it is possible that you may have developed some product but then it may not yet have been fully developed and therefore someone somewhere else may take it up from the point where you have finished and he may go ahead and develop it into a product which may ultimately sell at that stage whatever work you have done will also be given due credit provided you have done proper documentation and you have registered it so it is very important that whatever work you do is properly documented if you do not document it properly then it may happen that even though this work may tomorrow either on its own or in conjunction with work done by others acquires a market value you may be left out of it so therefore a documentation a properly done documentation for every step of the work that you are doing is very important it is also any way important for an engineer to learn how to document as it is important for a pharmacist so <coughs> the point is please try to do the job work hard on it try to make a success of the project that you have use all the resources that are available but do not forget that ipr has its own value in fact as you may be knowing and as you may have heard hundreds of small companies in california 
develop small new products and then sell them to biggies like Google, like Microsoft, like Oracle and make millions of dollars. And this is something which is not done once in a while. It is done every day, every year. And every year you find hundreds of these companies being acquired by larger companies because the simple idea that this small company may have thought of is actually of a value of hundreds of millions of dollars to the bigger companies. So it is important that not only you but even your associated company if you are doing an IDP, if you are doing the project along with a small industry that that small industry also understands the value of IPR. We are not asking you to take the project from a small industry to develop it jointly with them and then to patent it in your name. No, that's not really our objective. We have to be ethical. Whatever work you have done, that's good. And wherever you have got an input from your mentors, they also have to get the proper credit. So, the idea is that whatever work has been done, either by you alone or by you jointly with others, must be given due credit and then it must be protected. So IPR is for protecting the intellectual work. IPR is understood as protecting it very ethically. It does not mean grabbing the intellectual rights of others. It means respecting the intellectual rights of everyone. And this is something that we have to learn and we have to convey to our students and to our industry partners. For this purpose, we have run two very successful workshops for teachers of GTU. On 3rd and 4th of September at AMA, a workshop for pharmacy teachers was organized. Similarly, on 24th and 25th of September, a workshop for engineering college teachers at Science City Gandhinagar was organized. We found that in both of these workshops, we had to apply a cutoff because the number of applications was so large that we could not accommodate everyone. Hence, we decided that we will conduct these workshops at other places also. Now, on 7th and 8th of January, we are conducting a workshop at VBP Rajkot. Similarly, another workshop for engineering teachers is being conducted on 21st and 22nd of January at Parul, Vagodia, Padoda. We are also going to conduct later two workshops on 11th and 12th at Gandhinagar for the Northern Zone and on 25th and 26th at Surat for uh, engineering teachers. Our objective is to sensitize no less than 1000 engineering college teachers which includes the polytechnic teachers uh, about the ideas of IPR. And we are sensitizing the teachers because these faculty members are going to lead the development of the project by the student. They are going to tell the students where patenting is required. And what we want is that wherever you feel that the idea is patentable, please tell us, we will help you file a, a preliminary patent information which will protect the whole, whole thing for at least six months before you prepare proper documentation. So this is something that we want to be done for all the excellent projects in every college, in every department. Wherever you find that the project has some new idea, and I think every project has at least some new idea. Wherever you find that the project has been reasonably well developed, it has shown the feasibility, and it has some new idea, we must immediately protect the idea and file a patent. Now, the patent application, as you will learn during these workshops, is in two steps. We first of all file what is probably an intent, and then later we file the complete patent uh, 
uh, application. So uh, please uh, locate projects where some intellectual idea is there and please help your student and your industry partner to protect that idea and the GT will work with you to do this particular job. We are establishing an IP cell, an intellectual property rights cell at GTU to assist all of you in this particular kind of job. But then the cell can only help when first of all you have identified the opportunity. You have said that this particular project is worth patenting and then you bring that to the IPR cell so that we can help you. So the workshops that you are attending are truly of great importance because these workshops will protect the intellectual rights, that is number one. Number two, they will also bring credit to your college. They will bring credit to the student, they will bring credit to the industry with which you are partnering and they will bring credit to your college as they will bring credit in fact to GTU and the state of Gujarat. Thank you.